Hello anyone who may be watching now or, or later and welcome, I'm Helian along with... Wait, no! Drakir! <laughs> what? what kind of brave what was that from me? Um, I, I mean, I'm of a yoke that accidentally almost said it. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island. Uh, where we'll be continuing with chapter one, Launch of the Screaming Narwhal. And, well, we got a, we got a good look at that thing last time. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it looks it looks like the moment it sets sail is going to stro go straight down like a freaking brick. To be honest, this scene worship. Yeah. Like, Captain Dread's ship, which was, well, half Only a boat. Half a ship. <laughs> yeah, literally half. Okay, now let's see. Uh, what we were to do again, I think we... I think we were kind of stuck on what to do. Uh, we... Hmm. We've gotten the attention of, uh... <laughs> the Marquis de something something, and he's probably going to send that pirate hunter after us. I'm guessing that's going to be lasting through all the other episodes of the game. But beyond that, I don't think we have... Oh. No, we know what we need to do, but how to do that, we don't know yet. We need to figure out a way to... Uh, yeah, unscrew the air in this... Uh, the, the winds in this area. But how, I don't know. Um, yeah, that is a good question. Uh, yeah, deadline was the code to get into the voodoo lady's shop. Uh, beyond that, we've got this pirate parrot. But beyond that, I have no clue of where we have to go and such. Uh, what's with this locket? Once I get off this stupid island and find Elaine, I guess I'm gonna have to track down this decava guy so I can find La Esponja Grande. Oh uh, yeah, we know we need to find that sp <laughs> that massive sponge. But that's all for to do after we get off this island. So we we don't have a clue as to where to start with finding a solution for all of that. Uh, do you have anything hey. more to say, Hemlock? Hey there. Hmm? What do you want now? <laughs> we have nothing to say to him, apparently. Um, I think this is right. Voodoo Lady, who we still don't know the name of, fell in love with a conquistador. Hmm, yeah, that as well. Today, which is probably a good thing, considering all the laws I'll be breaking. <laughs> hmm. Do actually, I don't know if they still use the term conquistador during this time. Free I'm not sure. Vowels. Get him wild there, Vowels! I'm back. Hi. So. Let's... What can you tell me about this bottle? Arr, that'd be one of me special unbreakable bottles. Uh -oh. Unbreakable? Ha! Ah, there isn't a bottle alive that's a match for my gift for destruction. <laughs> Brush. Impressive. The sacred ingredients are those jagged crystal reefs. They're tougher than diamonds. Weird. But what do you do if you want to open one of these unbreakable bottles in order to, say, look at an ancient scroll you've cleverly sealed inside? Arr, that's a good question, lad. Here, show you how it's done. Yeah, he's also infected with uh, the pox of Lechak. I use this little beauty to chip off flakes from the reefs and to crack open bottles like this one. Whoa! So let me get this straight. Your unbreakable bottles are, in fact, opened by breaking them? Don't get cute, Blandy. I break other things too, you know. <laughs> Okay. Wait. Did, did it launch it or what what happened? I think it basically disintegrated. Hmm. Guess you need the right tune. Hmm. I'm back. Hi. Could you use your nifty bottle breaking tool to break open a bottle for me? Of course! Great! That'll be 37 pieces of eight. What? 
I haven't got any pieces of eight. Then I guess I won't be breaking any bottles for you. Okay, I'm Thanks guessing we're going to have to make our own. Arch nemesis to return to. Aye. Of course, who doesn't? <laughs> and guess what, people? I got sandwich. Oh yeah, that's really hang. It's, it's actually being drawn over there, but we don't, we can't get there yet. Hmm. But we might be able to move somewhere else that may uh, help us. Maybe for the moment, though. I. Yeah, we're we're going to need that glass vowel that he made to get uh, to break the bottle, basically. We need to make our own bottle breaking device, uh, I suspect, but yeah, how we're going to do that, I don't know yet. We, again, we don't have any idea of what to do with these things. Actually, maybe we put the weather fane on them or something? No. He doesn't even respond to it. Hmm. Maybe it's meant for something we don't have yet. Unless we put it there? Maybe. Mm, no. Mm. I think we need to follow the sound of the wind, maybe. Because I'm... We need. We had to follow the sounds of animals through this area before. Oh. Did you see that this wall up there? The wind, the little gusts. I think we might need to. I think we might need to find where all of the wind is concentrating. Sibley. Maybe a weak wind there. Okay, we find our way back here. Somehow, the knowledge that the voodoo lady's in there hasn't made this shack any less timber shivering. <laughs> and hey, in the chat there, Noon. <laughs> ah, hello, Senpai! <laughs> uh, you doing well today? Is there a way that we can just outright use this thing or something? Oh. Oh, so hmm. that's how we do that. Okay. <laughs> okay, just playing some Madden the Gathering. Okay. Uh, I've given that a try, but uh, it's a bit complex for my... Uh, well, it's a bit complex for me. <laughs> Interesting. I have a box of them in the more early edition where a bit more was okay, they getting too complex. Nope. But last time I saw they really turned off the complexity of the cards uh, that it actually made me confused. I think I and have annoyed. a collection of old cards around from, from that. Uh, I managed to pick that up during my job with a second hand store or a thrift store some place as it's called in some places. They're not really right. old, old, but still older. Yeah. But it's a fun game uh, to play on occasion. I, I have a lot of can uh, if I have a friend, uh, my brothers or something, I could probably teach them and play with them. Looks like the wind gods of Flotsam are pointing that way. Okay. I, I was confused for a moment there because <laughs> Guybrush got moved. Okay. So we just check this thing on every point. Oh. Hmm. Okay, up. But yeah, it, it's a good, it's a, well, it's a very long-lived <laughs> game series or franchise. And SF3 actually recently has been releasing a video series about it. And yeah, it has, it has gone through a lot of stuff. <laughs> at, at multiple points, the franchise almost got itself killed. I'm not surprised. And back. I see.
And once again, we're in a different area than we were before. Let's see. They, they have... Looks like the wind gods of Blossom are pointing that way. Wait, let's see. I heard some drama with some coast who owns Metal Gear Ring or something. Like... But some celeb... Uh, some... Uh, 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 some... Uh, what was her name? But she was to pose as a... Uh, say... More of one of the uh, upcoming cards. But she got fired! Hmm... Okay... And uh, removed! You wanna... Why could she got fired and removed? Uh, why? Because someone made a fan out of her nude. Yeah, of course. With this... It made me angry considering she Interesting. she was innocent. Yeah. Like, she was not the one posting nudes. Someone made a fan art her artwork. And she didn't mind, but she found it ridiculous he got fired I for see. that. For someone else did it. So yeah, men who got angry with it. Okay, it seems we've just been sent back here, and if we go through this, we're we're exiting again, so... Did we do something wrong, then? Hmm. I don't think she has anything more to offer us. Maybe she can tell us a bit more about the bottle? Hmm. Anything else you think I should know about this, Pox? Only that it must be stopped, and that you are the only one who can stop it. Regrettably. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that Grog could be used to stave off the effects of the pox? Grog? Grog won't cure the pox of the Chuck. It will only make it worse. How can Grog make anything worse? Your hand may seem fine now, but when it wakes up, it'll be even nastier than ever. You've just got a thing against Grog. Uh -oh. Yeah. It it got kind of sedated last time. Are you sure you can't help me get off Flotsam Island? As I said, the mysteries of Flotsam are above my pay grade. Seek out others to assist you. Hmm. I also say... I suspect the reason it, they had the pox get worse... is probably due to a hangover. Yeah. Do you know anything about the Marquis de Singe? I do not trust that man, nor do I understand him. He tried to cut off my hand. This does not surprise me. Scientists such as de Singe will shatter the soul of the world to answer a few petty riddles. The fates alone know what he's done to this poor island. Hmm. Sorry, I'm taking a uh, moment to inspect my glasses. I've managed... I've managed a uh, bit of a slap dad's repair for now, which is a bunch of duct you know, tape. But now I'm noticing that the other side is a bit loose as well, apparently. So yeah, I, the replacements of, for this one can't come soon enough. Well, how'd you end up on Flotsam Island? I go where I am needed. Right. What the heck? Him? What the heck? So you're deep cut? Davy Nipperkin's source of off-island news? Yes. Why? The price of a voodoo lifestyle is not merely spiritual, little pirate. It also requires a substantial financial commitment. Wait, she called herself Deep Gut? No, that, that was her... That, that was the nickname or s alias that uh, the news guy gave her. Okay, that sounds mean. And it's probably a reference to the X-Files with Deep Throat. Tell me some more about the locket. What? No, it hurts too much. Go to the Jerkbait Islands. Find Coronado de Cava and show him the locket. If anyone can find La Esponja, he can. Uh, Hillian. Deep Fruit mm. is not from the X-Files. I'll find my own way out. Be well, Trip. Uh, from what then? I'm pretty sure there was a Deep Fruit character in the X-Files. It started for its own movie. 
And it came from, uh, became a sexual alien from there. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah. We're going to need to figure out how to get around with this stupid thing. Uh, do you have any ideas where to look next, or shall we just look up a hint? A actually, um, wasn't there some... I think there was something in the options about hints. So let's just head to the beach for a second. And see... There he is. Let's see. I think I saw something in the settings about hints. Yeah, hint frequency. I don't know if that means there will be a more or less often. I think more. Uh, let's l put it there. Uh, just double check the others here. Hmm. We haven't se gotten any hints though so far. Hmm. Is there a button for that or? Hmm. Yeah, that's a good question. Like hint frequency sounds a bit odd, unless it's supposed to come up by itself. It, we have not seen. A cat five crunch... Yeah. Cat hmm. five? Yeah, Man, we've already seen this line. Winds have really pulled in yep. of LeChuck. Okay, that, that was a different line of it, but... It... Today's forecast calls yep. for the pox of LeChuck oozing in from the Rock of Gelato, combining with flotsam stubbornly sucking winds to create a cat five crunch storm. <laughs> that was the line. We've seen that one before. Hmm. Bloody hell. It's locked. And still again. As I said, I also fixed my old glasses to us with duct tape. Only on the leg thing. Not on the glasses. Uh, your hey, glasses are so like to be in hot condition. Uh, it's. Uh, they're held. The, the glasses themselves are held to the frame. Uh, only at the top. Uh, hello there, little, <laughs> little tree live. Uh, Hello, tree. But it also means that the the, f the frame is pulled into a bit of a bend by the glasses. And since that's letting go, it means that one of the legs is just pushing out further and further to the sides. Okay. But those sound like you probably need to buy, buy glasses of better quality. Uh, they, 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 they've lasted for five years, so I think they were good enough quality. Hmm. For five years, they probably should not be breaking down that much. But both of them are busy falling out. Hmm. What is it with this thing again, the Eye of the Manatee? He says this thing's the key to his scroll. And of course, McGee also drinks a lot. Okay. Key to his scroll, but it can't be the deep gut ma a map. Hmm. Uh, what exactly is the goal of the game you're playing? Uh, at the moment, uh, well, th the first of all, this is Tales of Monkey Island, the first episode of it. And, well, the main problem that we have now is that Guybrush sort of got his hand cursed which seems to be unicorn. cursing everyone around him. Glass, and at the moment, we just need to get off of this island because... Uh, if, let me get a better angle. All of that green stuff is uh, kind of accumulating here. And it's a bit of a bad mojo, you could say. I just don't have any clue of how to actually progress with this. But... Yeah, b basic adventure game uh, stuff. Uh, hero, or in this guy, uh, dumbass that keeps stumbling into things, uh, needs to <laughs> needs to defeat the villain, and uh, see uh, manage to survive somehow. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to I'm going to look up a bit of where the hell we need to go right now. So let's see, uh, tales of yes, literally. This is a very shit situation here. Or what as Scoundrels would likely say... Man, flop some suck... Uh, not that line. Today's forecast calls for the pox of the chuck oozing in from the Rock of Gelato, combining with flop some stubbornly sucking winds to create a Cat 5 crud storm.
Uh, let's see. Walk through. Yes. Okay. We have the weather vane. Okay, that was not a walk. There we go. We've got the weather vane. We know how to break that stupid bottle. Actually, can we... Can we perhaps... No. Oh, that's... That is... <clears throat> That's Hemlock's bot, uh, stroll in there. But we still need to find a way to get it out first. So, let's see. Uh, Flats and dirt, make pirate news, no. Jungle, dogs. At the town. Doctor's house. Ready. <laughs> Is this? Oh no, it's just, yeah, continuous on. Let's see. Locate deep, deep guards. Go back to the intersection. Head left one time. Go north until you reach the shack. Deadline. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> A bunch of references in there, apparently. Okay. Pick up the weather vane. Go to the right exit. Doctor's house. Already done that. Flotsam draw. Uh, da -da -da. Jeez, wheel. Oh. He might have... It might be that the sound of it, uh, it's kind of unbreakable, so let's, let's get Gabriel into a bit of a better position here. I just bet that Hemlock's map holds the secret to getting off this island and back to Elaine. But how will I get it out of that unbreakable bottle? Yeah, uh, supposedly it's harder than the freaking diamonds, according to the bottle maker with the glass blower a bit up ahead here. I really should make this. Yeah, it, I apparently, you need to use a specific sound to shatter it. Yeah. Um, he does have a tool for it, but he wants to be paid. And uh, you can take a guess. Guybrush is the type of adventurer who constantly runs out of cash. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I need to ask Lindy something. Uh, Lindy, do you want a glass unicorn? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Uh... What? He's selling now, so why not? Well, Gyber still doesn't have any money for it. And yeah, oh, I've right. kind of forgotten that we can climb up here. Welcome aboard, sir. Then Winslow? What are you doing here? If it's all right with you, Captain, I'd like to stay aboard as your first mate. I don't know. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we kind of blew him up. I really don't... Jolly uh, good, sir. You won't regret it, mark my <laughs> words. Now you'll excuse me, I believe some of my stitches have popped. I'll meet you here if the winds ever change. <laughs> okay, just invite yourself down. Where, where the hell were you... Oh, that's... For a moment I thought, where the hell were you walking through? <laughs> Since we were... I thought we were at this end here. Like, he walk, just walked off the end of the ship or something. So, yeah, Winslow has invited himself as our first mate. That totally can't go wrong, seeing as we kind of seized the ship from him. The cheese wheel. Monster. Yeah. Still, maybe I'll find some starving rats who will eat it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's one way to describe unicorns. Hey. It's one of those spiffy new Hungarian easy action cannons I've been begging Elaine to let me buy. Yep. Whoa. But the wind's really doing a number on that cannonball. Uh. Beautiful unicorns! Guy Crush! Well, so no, much no, for no, buying no. Lil Tree One. Alien? No, no. Don't blame Guy Brush mm. for what you did. <laughs> it's a detailed map of the entire Gulf of Melange. This thing will come in handy if I ever get off this Fischlinger Island. Fischlinger? What, what the hell kind of word was that? Blood in the Take a look at your chat. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Or later tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's the main mast of the screaming narwhal, or main tree. 
Uh, okay, uh, how do we actually get off this thing? Yes, it's a rollicking pirate adventure for me. Just as soon as the winds start blowing away from the island. Uh, yeah, the whole thing about this island is that no matter uh, what angle it's coming from, the wind is blowing inwards to here. That's a tightly sealed barrel of tar, used for patching up cracks and hazing bosuns. Yeah, I have a feeling <laughs> that they are inside the eye of a storm, but realized... Yeah, we will be able to see the storm in the distance. Okay, just jump straight into the ocean, Kyvrush. <laughs> Also, oh, Guyver's just completely staring at the, f the screen there, and hello there. Yeah, I'm not sure if he wants to even walk up to this guy. Yeah, yeah let's we... not. <laughs> because he I tried really to kill us. Sure my new ship is ship shape before shipping out. Okay, and that's what him. That was him talking about. This. Oh, hello. Yoink. It's amazing how many of life's problems are solved by indiscriminate cannon fire. There. There we go. Nope. Ow. Elaine, here I come. <laughs> or um, maybe not. Arcades. Okay. What? Yeah, he did say that this thing was the key to solving that scroll. So... This looks promising. There we go. Okay, the, the altar. And then we follow the noises. Uh, Put a okay. well and give the well a flower. <laughs> yes. Do you need to ask the well oh. off a date? Uh, We've got oh. flowers from that. Okay. So we have to go find that altar again. Let's see. Oh, Is it dear. marked up on here? Buried treasure? No. It's not marked, so we'll have to go find it. <laughs> oh, bloody. Uh, I just recall something. I need to say a quote from a old Warhammer rulebook. Oh. <clears throat> There's no problem that can't be solved by cannon. <laughs> cannon captain, uh, the cannoneer of none. Something. Uh, I forgot what his name was. What was with the little dance there, guy, brush? Okay. Good question. Just, just try to also do the cannoneer, non cannoneer, and you know, try to solve the, the more cannons. Let's see, B, monkey, then we follow the wind direction. Uh, wrong button. Okay. Nope, uh, not that way. That's birds. B. This looks promising. Yeah. I think you're right. And I think I totally agree with you, Litri. But we know uh, well, some people are very stubborn with the cannons. Uh, well, you, we could make the glass blower make more unicorns by threatening him with a cannon. Well, that's one way to do it. Hmm. Looks like the wind gods of Flotsam are pointing that way. Okay. So we were partially right with following this thing. Oh, and then it was to offer a flower to the well. There we go. And then Are those it's... drawings supposed to represent the wind? Okay, wind, B, wind. Hmm. Okay, then we look for the B noise. Oh, which is right back. Okay, then the wind. And then we get... We should be arriving at the calendar. Interesting. Okay. I do like that they zoom out with a bit like that. Making it easier to tell which way to go. 
Okay, now how the hell do we operate this thing? This looks promising. Let's see. Counterclockwise. Wrong button. Oop. According to this, it's Sunday, the twelfth of Manatee. Why did it light up there for a moment? Hmm. According to this, it's. Or are we? Hmm? Okay, we were just supposed to walk around it. Okay. I have deja vu from one of the Super River games. Where you have then to we follow walk the around the enemy to trap them in a web. Yeah. Uh, wind. Okay, upwards. And then we should be at wherever we're supposed to be. And yeah, Guybrush isn't really meant to be standing on that thing. There we go. Whoa. Uh oh, someone's coming. Who could be following? I never thought I'd have to come out here again. But it'll be worth a temporary fluctuation in flux and winds to get my hands on Sweepwood's hand. <laughs> Hands on his hand. How troll. So he's the reason why the winds what have been cranky. And what's behind that door? Suspecting he was behind it. Just not sure how. Maybe I can move the door by pushing on this giant crystal nose. <sighs> nope. Hmm. That oyster shell looks so empty without a pearl. Okay, so he, he has something to actually operate all of this stuff. And I'm guessing since that is there, that we now... Yep, giant doorway. Okay. I guess we'll have to break into his place and steal that stick so we can get yeah. inside. Actually, I don't remember. I think I said in the last stream of this that I suspect he might be behind it. Nope. What are you looking at? Is he looking at the box of LeChuck? Alphabet sale! Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> the, the unicorns are back. Doc? Oh, it's you. Unless you're here to volunteer your hand to the advancement of science, I have nothing to say to you. <laughs> For now. What are you doing out here? Don't you have some mildly injured pirates to mangle? I'm investigating these wondrously icky green clouds that have settled over Flotsam Island. Are you sure you don't know anything about Flotsam's winds? What are you insinuating? It occurs to me that the weird winds around here have been pretty good to you, giving you a steady supply of patience and all. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Come on, confess. You're the guy behind all these freaky winds, aren't you? What an outrageous accusation! Do you have any proof? Um... <laughs> I thought not. Good day, sir. Uh, I said good day. Okay, okay. So, uh, That's the Marquis de Singe to you, ruffian. Okay, so we can't just sneak in. <laughs> and Liltree just really wants the unicorns, it seems. Yeah, you, you better you better get them a unicorn. Why are you so interested in my hand anyway? Because the disease that courses through it appears to be an entirely new life form, capable of animating and taking over dead tissues. No kidding. That's so. Wait, did you say dead tissues? Uh, are we going to have a case of deadites? <laughs> or a case of a. Uh... A friendship? Oh, I. Did I just do a hideous level dead. pun? It moves. Sometimes all by itself. And that's what makes it so fascinating. A seemingly necrotic and persistently animating as though compelled by an outside force. Just imagine the possibilities. Oh, really weird puppet shows? 
Uh, great, so not only is Guybrush cursed, he's also likely just slowly dying. Wonderful. And I you know, get a good turn with this. Infected with the same disease mm. as my hand. Why don't you cut off their limbs? Oh, I have, but your case is special somehow. I must have that hand. Mm, how about no? We'll just see about that. Uh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I will say, this Frenchman is getting me concerned. Yeah. Okay, so if we can't get close, how are we going to steal that stick of his? Hmm. Yeah, that's a good question. And also to comment to Lina there, the accent, I am very neutral with it. Like, sometimes it sounds genuine and other times it sounds very fake in a bad way. And, yeah, he is very sus. He tried to kill us for a freaking hand. And, well... Vowels. He... Get him wild there, Vowels! Uh, he's, uh... This guy is missing his legs because of that guy, because he stubbed his freaking toes. Both the legs. Hey there. Still nothing. Yeah, whatever. Also, a fun story. Before we started playing this, kind of did some hours before, I remember the VTubers for a while back, you did some pictures where they had the feet on the table. And I thought, we could do that with Hillian, but instead of uh, his feet, he had two pair of peg legs. <laughs> and lo and behold, someone beat us to it. Then, yeah, he looks uh, like that because uh, because he's infected with the pox of Lechak. Likely because uh, er earlier Guybrush's hand was a lot more animated and a lot more violent and just straight up clocked the guy across the face, so that might have been the cause of that. Hmm. Oh dear. That oyster shell looks so empty without a... Yeah, how? Oh. How are we going to get. Wait. Hmm. No, I don't think that. Maybe we need to distract him with something? Maybe shatter the lenses in his uh, spyglass or something? Or telescope? I think it counts as a, a spyglass if it's handheld, and a telescope if it's. Um, yeah, has a standard. Unicorns! Get your hand blown glass, unicorns! Let's see. Actually, do you have anything to say about that thing? It's a mysterious ancient instrument for breaking mysterious ancient crystals. Actually, are we going to... Do we just need to bribe him with cheese? It'd be a surprise. Dr. Desinge? That's the Marquis de Singe to you, ruffian. Oh, apparently not. Bye. Hello. Hmm, then what is the cheese for? A marquis. What the heck is. <laughs> does it mean to be a marquis? Hmm. Now, he used to be part of the cor a court before. Court of France, but. Hmm. What the heck was that? Yeah, what the hell was that electronic noise from? Okay, so we have that cheese. Bloody, I got pissed a second. Uh, yeah, brave the Frenchman with cheese would work on Aoyama daily B and H A reference a couple. What? <laughs> uh, that's a reference that's going over both of our heads. Hmm. Ian. Okay, yeah, that, I, I'm struggling. Um, can you say the full title without acronym? The series? I'm yes, actually very horrible with acronyms. That's cheesy enough as it is. 
I also would be surprised if I recognize if I hear the entire name. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm drawing a blank on what that might be referring oh, to. Oh, we, we are dumb. Oh, Boku no Hero, Hero Academia, yeah. Oh, <laughs> we... oh, bloody heck. No, him. Oh, no. Okay, now I get what you mean. You... Uh, sparkly guy. I Always sparkling, I believe he took as his hero name. We, we actually watched all of, uh, what well, most of what's available. Oh, I said it. If you had said Hero Academia, we would have gotten it straight away. Cheese. Yeah. Oh, oh. that yeah, good he, series. He did, he did try to. <laughs> he did try Can't to bribe uh, Mizuku. Yeah, he did try uh, to you know, bribe Mizuku <laughs> with cheese for a, a long ass, for, well, not a long ass time for a good amount of tries. Okay, I'm I'm drawing a blank again as to where the hell we're supposed to go. Hmm. Wait, can we? I think we. I tried to. No, I tried that earlier. What is with this thing? Oh, you want a cracker? Ah, it's me, Garbor Streetwood, Whitey Pirate. I think we're going to need to use that thing as a distraction or something. Possibly. Very possibly. Okay, let's check for another hint. And it's said to leave the glass breaker alone and to go to the courthouse instead. I'm guessing he might have run off there to report, well, somebody's, <laughs> somebody's shattering his work. So I guess we'll have to ruin his day again. Unless we somehow manage to break the game. Yeah, those unicorns are going to stop twinkling any second now. Alien! Not again! <laughs> you monster! What has unicorns ever done you? Okay, let's go take a look. <laughs> what was that? Okay, so it is in. The, huh. Uh, let's see. Is it uh, supposed to be a hill round or something? No, if that's only supposed to be hint, it's not doing a good job. Hmm. Okay, this is a bit behind. Let's see. Spe speak to a man on the steps. We've already done that. Go to the jail windows next to the newspaper paper and use the cheese wheel on the jail carvings. What? Okay. I know what would cheer up these gruesome carvings. Cheese! <laughs> <laughs> the hand, so I'm pretty sure that was a reference to Wallace yeah, and Gromit. No, still menacing. Oh, and now my cheese wheel is staring at me. <laughs> okay. Uh, that smart. Still no idea what the hell to use needed for. May Actually, let's put it on one of those things now. I'm not going to read too far into things. Because I, I want to try and figure things out as much as possible on my own. Without, well, getting stuck on something for 15 freaking minutes. So, let's see if we can find another one of those platforms. And will it take it now? I start giving away my cheese. I... Okay, no. Then what? Uh, scroll, jungle entrance, da, 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 da. manatee door. Oh, we. Okay, this I didn't think of, but we need to use the bottle breaker on the crystal nose, apparently. 
Now, they did say that... He did say that it was made out of crystal. Or... Reef crystal. So that does make some sense. <coughs> Pardon. Why were you taking the long way around, Guybrush? Still no idea what we need that for, but we'll have probably something inside here. Looks like I cut off the door's nose to spite its face. <laughs> Let's see, gotta uh, go now to set up my own stream, see ya, and have a lovely rest of the Yeah, thank you, and you have a good stream as well. It's safely three. I wonder if I can see anything on the other side. And what did I miss? I, I can't tell what it is. I had to look away from more what what happened. Yeah, uh, we blew up we blew up the crystal nose with the glass breaker and the face fell off. Sometimes it's all oh. you can see the little face. <laughs> okay. Um Hmm. I wonder if I can see anything on the other side. There's something interesting in there, but I can't tell what it is. Okay. I don't think that a YouTube would be useful there. Maybe we need to put this thing in or something? And I don't think a flower sconce would enhance the feng shui right here. Hmm. I hope the Marquis doesn't mind that I've broken the face off his ancient manatee door thingy. Do we, do we need uh, That's cheesy enough as it with is. The, the pearl, whatever he used. Okay, may, maybe we can use that face thing as proof that he... Well, at the very least, that we know that he's been screwing around with stuff. Hmm. While he's walking, might as well go take, take a ring. Okay. Free vowels! Get him while they're vowels! Okay, and then we use this thing with the sins. Maybe that'll convince him to go run off or something. Dr. DeSinge? That's the Marquis de Singe to you, ruffian. Does this look familiar? Where'd you find that? It, uh, fell off that creepy ancient door in the jungle. An ancient door with a manatee head in the jungle? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Sure, sure, but you might want to check it out someday. Looks like it could be pretty interesting, scientifically speaking. I'm heading back there now to break through the door with my piratey wiles. First, I'll need some dynamite. Uh, then a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle, and then some sort of rudimentary lathe. <laughs> He'll never open that door without my key. Still, I'd better follow him from a safe distance, just to make sure he doesn't upset my long-term plans. Uh-oh. Ah, so it appears that Monsieur Fripoud has found the Vicarian Fort du Vent. Not a little parrot boy. Hello? Is anybody in here? Hmm, how silly of me. Fripoud would never be clever enough to get through that door. I am too clever enough to get through that door. Or at least make him think I am. Oh. Just had a really weird idea. It's me, Guybrush Street Boy, Whitey Pirate. I've got a mission for you, little parrot. Go to the other side of this door and open it from the other side. Yeah. It's me, Guybrush Street Boy, Whitey Pirate. <laughs> okay, little champion, open the door. Stupid bird. It's me, Guybrush Street Boy, Whitey Pirate. And yet there's still something downright charming. <laughs> uh. I think we want him there to trick him to open it for us. Yeah. Uh, where did he go from there? There he is. Okay. Okay, so he doesn't he doesn't take a straight line there. But yeah. 
this should be enough to convince him to open the place up, so we don't even need to steal his pearl stick. I thought you should know that I'm heading back to the jungle to try to open the door again. Oh, uh, really? Yes, really. Ciao. Okay, short and simple. Wherever you are, Monsieur Sweetwood. Is anybody in there? Ah, it's me, Jarvis Sweetwood. Why do you fire me? What? How do you... Uh... <laughs> I can't believe he fell for that. Also, this yoink. Like it might be useful. Who's the cleverest pirate in the whole wide world? Ah, it's me, Garbo Streetwood, Whitey Pirate. <laughs> uh, watch it with the ego there, Streetwood. Holy shit! Streetwood. <laughs> well played, Monsieur Streetwood. You have forced me to reveal the location of the hidden temple. But without my help, a simpleton like you will never be able to figure out which of the so called wind gods must be summoned to master this ancient wind control device. And I will reveal nothing! That's a wind control device? Thanks for telling me. <laughs> you... you don't know? Uh, <laughs> I can see it's time for this Marquis to take matters into his own hands. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so th this is basically just a, a, giant so a giant vacuum cleaner and a seagull got pulled in there. Uh, okay, let's let's take a look at this thing. Use this thing of a bob to open up that giant stone door. What if it opens anything else? Oh, only one way to find out. It's locked. Oh, okay, I see. The clam is shut, so... Okay. Uh, well, at the very least, we can use it there. Oh. Not hit. And not accidentally hit pause. So, what will this do? Uh... Oh, okay. And that that one is missing one. Okay. Hands the cheese wheels. The winds are still blowing in. Looks like I've got some ancient wind gods to summon. Okay, but I what if that item can be used to summon wind gods? The question is, what is going to be the combination on these? Good question. And be right back. I'm gonna refill my glass. So okay. don't die. But I'm away. That oyster shell looks so empty without a pearl. Let's see, is this the right thing here? Guess I didn't do whatever I was supposed to do. Hmm. Okay, where do we need to get the hints for this for? According to DeSinge, this ancient doohickey controls the winds on Flotsam Island, somehow. I, I was thinking to try and match this thing with its eyes, its nose, and its lips. Let's see, is there uh, more? Faces on those idols look familiar. I see. Hmm. You know something? Hmm? I think you and me have the same model of glasses. Okay, I can send a picture later, but... I don't know, that, that, that's how I know it. I, I should, for a moment, when I got distracted, I noticed a... Oh, Shanna not respond to if I had a white dot. Check over it, check what it was showing. And I saw the, on the picture channel that basically the last shown was you sending two pics of you yourself about the hair yell. Hair gel? So about who needs hair yell. <laughs> if I understand um. the singe correct wind gods. Okay, oh. There we go. For some reason, it didn't want to show this. You know. Um, okay, we need to we need to go find some sort of combination with these. Hmm. Nothing. Four times four times four. Uh, Sixteen. Yeah, there's about sixty-four 
possible mixtures on this thing, so we could just be here for a long as well. If Oh, okay. Uh, let's see then. Ah, yes. Looks like the wind gods of Flotsam are pointing that way. Okay, um, might need a way to take a better look at that thing. Uh, let's see, then let's do it again. Okay, brow, W, and then the fangs. Let's see. Is this the correct one or one of the correct ones? It might be annoying if we have to do this for each specific wind direction as well. Wonder what I'm doing wrong. Okay, let's correct this the lower one. Yeah. Oh, also, I, I, I resend you the picture from the channel you posted it on for over two years ago. Randomly spinning these dials is getting me nowhere. Faces okay. on those idols look familiar. Uh, how do I get a better look? Actually, no. Do I just... Oh, I stick it on top. Oh, and that shows me which face to mimic. There we go. Okay, that's smart. Ah. Double checking. And this is the solution. <laughs> Almost get that thing launched in our face. Hey! Yep, yep, hello. That must have been the god of winds that knock off your hat. <laughs> so okay. you would cease your amphisted fumblings and surrender that hand. Oh. Does that thing even work? Make me. <laughs> it, it sort of works. Hey, I'm still alive. <laughs> uh, oh. What the heck was that? Uh, a fart gone without the fart. <laughs> okay. Oh, and we can go immediately do, to these things. Okay, that is a good little shortcut. Otherwise, we'd have to go look around all the place again. Uh, yeah. Uh. I hope he doesn't show up at each and every one of these, because I... Uh, Guybrush's spine can survive much, but I don't think he can survive constantly getting zapped by that thing. Weird. Or not really zapped, but more... Uh, this one looks like it's missing a nose. Interesting. Uh. Oh. Hmm. Seriously, who goes around ripping the noses off of ancient idols? You have the nose. You have the nose uh, in your bag. Yeah, this one here. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Much better. Well, better anyway. How did that get pulled off? Oh well. Activate this one. Wind God, that was supposed to. Ew. Broken wind. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Sweet wood. A mole on the. Step away from that delicate machinery and give me your hand. And if I don't. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what a grouch. Uh, I guess you could say that the Marquis has gone a bit low tech. Because he uh, he's using a blow uh, he's using a blowgun. Oop. That, that that that's painful, Ilya. That's painful. <laughs> also, how the hell we were supposed? Possible, but this idol's cheesier than ever. <laughs> Okay, I do wonder how the hell we were supposed to figure that out, that we'd have to imprint this thing with the symbols from the jail. Aha! I see. 
this one. I see. And that one, okay. Oh, Santa Maria Conchita Alonso. I knew I should have worn my chinos today. Ah, that must be the wind that makes you reconsider wearing shorts. <laughs> mm, no sign of the marquee. What? Good. All that shooting was giving me a headache. Cold wind. Okay, now to find the last one. Actually, we can just do this. <laughs> um, which one was that? Can we still return to the ones that we've activated? Messed up idol and ignatic strange idol. We've done this one. We've done the one there. And this is... This was the cheese one. <laughs> okay, so it's the one at the back that we have to go to now. Yeah, just being able to go to them, it speeds this up so much. Yep. I, gu I guess they just they learned their lesson. Okay, let's figure out the final wind idle thingy and get the heck... Sorry for it. Oh, jeez. Okay, he's going to camp the last one. Hey, look! It's King Louis the Twelfth! My liege! I thought you were dead! Uh... R really? Yeah. Oh! Okay, oh, the good thing oh, this oh. rifle is just as wimpy as the man who built it. I think I know how we're supposed to beat him. And it's the thing that we thought we needed to use already with uh, trying to break the, the, the bottle. You're still here? But of course. How did you beat me here anyway? <laughs> Once I heard the third change in the wind, it was child's play for a scientifically trained intellect of my stature to deduce which of the four winds remained. So, now what? Now, my annoying pirate friend, you hand over that ancient liverometer device. I restore the winds to their full sucking force, and you accompany me to my laboratorium so that I can properly remove and study your hand with the pointy sticks of science! <laughs> Leverometer? The thing with the seahorse on it! Oh, yeah, I don't think I'll be giving you that. <laughs> Dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, I've heard of blow me down, but not blow me across the freaking island. But yeah, we, we're going to stick the tube in his uh, rifle so he blows himself. Let's try this again. Yeah, it, uh oh. Me, let's. Hmm? You want to <gasps> say something? I want to say. I attempted to get one of those guns to punish you with. <laughs> oh my! It's King Louis the Thirteenth. Mon Dieu! Then we just quickly really? stick this thing in there, like it's a freaking what Elmer Fudd cartoon. Beats me. Now, if you'll just stop waving that rifle around, I've got some winds to change. Not so fast, insignificant pirate person. Sacre now. <laughs> <laughs> well, and what did the aim that now. is growing? Uh, yeah. Uh, where are we going to stick this thing? Oh, I'd love to, but I'm pretty sure the Desinge doesn't have the necessary slots. Uh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Do you like actually like that one. Uh, can we check the thing to see which one it remains? Interesting. Uh, googly... Googly eyes. That one's correct. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he definitely enjoyed that one. Is this I like it? this sound effect. 
They said because they make a parent yes, walk into room and give you the awkward stare. And try to hmm. discreetly investigate to see if you're playing a pool game or not. Uh uh. Okay, where do we stick this thing? Oh, I'd love to, but I'm pretty sure that. If it is that last one <clears throat> on here, I think these two should be okay already. It's just the middle one that's being annoying then. Nothing. Hmm. Let's check again. Let's see. Oh, three eye, lip with a bit of drool, and then the wave. This one, the runny nose. And now it should be a correct. <laughs> What's happening? to bite me in the fundament. Well, I'm sure it'll be fine. Zoot The winds. No. Do you have any idea what you've done? Without the winds of flotsam bringing me a steady supply of injury-prone paratest subjects, the pace of my groundbreaking experiments was slow to a crawl. Talk to the hand, sicko, because the pirate ain't listening. Ugh, mark my words, Threepwood. You'll rue the day you cross the Marquis de Singe. <laughs> Your little end, too. <laughs> Rule? I don't know the meaning of the word. <laughs> well, looks like my work here is done. I better hurry back to the screaming narwhal before the flotsamites get wind of the um wind. <laughs> uh, Ben Winslow, where are you? Right here, sir. Raise anchor and get us the heck out of here before the winds change. With pleasure, Captain. <laughs> Wait, who raised the anchor? Your <laughs> dinner? And I think that bit with the marquee was a reference to Scooby Doo or something like that. And your little hand, too. Congratulations, sir. The screaming narwhal has successfully escaped from Flotsam Island. Where to now? Hey, are we... Is that a Dutch accent? Um, can't really say the, the last name is Dutch. Or at least Dutch style with the van. Mr. Van Winslow, if you would be so kind. I would like you to set sail for... Come again, sir. I said set a course for... Oh, come on. Come on, board, sir. Yeah, his hand is a lot more aggressive now. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, outright hostile. This is... Set a course for here. Hey! Whoa! Ow! <laughs> okay. We so we can't just point it out on a, on a map. We can't tell him. Hmm. <laughs> Stop hitting yourself, guy brush. This tar might be useful. Ow! Yeah, we, we kind of need our hands if we are to do adventuring with. <laughs> like a deafening cannon discharge to clear the mind. Hmm, this tar might be useful. Ow! Hmm. How are we going to tell him if we can't... Well, Sleep tell him. Dead. Or later tonight. Uh... That's the mainmast of the Screaming Narwhal. Or main tree. 
Hmm. Main tree? Yeah, they made it out of a tree. Uh, hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it, yeah, okay, that makes sense. How are we going to be able to communicate with him? Hmm. Sure. Set a course for here. Hey! Whoa! Ow! He should inform about the damn hand. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, uh, I don't think it'd be a good idea to try this on our own. Oh. Mr. Van Winslow, set sail for the moon. Mm -hmm. What's that, sir? I said make way to the moon. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not going to work. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, yep. we're, we're tilting a lot now because of this weight. Brand new ships all covered with tar. Oh. This is all your fault, you know. Ow! <laughs> See? Fix the heading. And th did you notice where the hand ends up every time he knocks himself well, out, Free? Just go where I point. Oh, no. come on! Ugh, stupid boxed hand! Joe! Oh. What's the. Yep. Ah, ah! Can't reach Tar's sticking pronouns failing. Guess I'm stuck. Oh, he, now he can tell Mr. him. Mr. Winslow, make way for <laughs> the Rock of Gelato. Aye, aye, Captain. And get me some grog for this hand. Uh, you might not. <laughs> You're sure you want to keep it sedated if you know it's going to get more aggressive after? Finally, the Rock of Gelato. Now to find Elaine. Mr. Van Winslow, my spyglass. Aye, aye, sir. Elaine's ship looks pretty good, considering that it was exploding the last time I saw it. Well, where's my ship? And Elaine? Is she out looking for me? Is she still in the Chuck's clutches? Is her beautiful bloated corpse slowly rotting at the bottom of the... Hey! What's that? Winslow, enhance the upper right quadrant 50%. Uh. <laughs> it's my ship! Winslow, full enhancement! <laughs> Elaine! Damn. I'm coming, Plunder Bunny! Wait, what's that? Oh no, it's LeChuck! Elaine, look out! Wonder Bunny? Guybrush Threepwood. I've been waiting a long time for this. Um, could you wait a little longer? Uh, who? Who? Okay. Hmm. Uh, can we skip through this? Yep, there we go. We should probably save the credits for when we're done with the entire thing. Okay. Um, how do we... How do we change the chapters? We go to new game for that. Uh, hmm. Yeah, how do we swap oh. between... Oh, I... I need to... I need to get out of the game for that. What? Uh, each of the chapters has to be launched separately. So I just need to quit the game for a moment. Uh, what? Turn back this on. Yeah, that's one what? drawback of this. Each of the each of these episodes were released separately, so they're, they are an EXE all of their own. Okay, chapter two is called The Siege of Spinner K. They should just release them as DLCs. Not separate. Oh, okay, I, I can see we, why people start disliking the Teletech games. Okay. Also, um, screenshot, please. Yeah, you're seeing OBS, right? Then I just need OBS. to change. Yeah, in OBS, it's not visible either. 
So I should just be able to change this from the previous one to ah yeah, Monkey Island 102.exe. Okay. Now it should be catching on then. There we go. Uh, let's double yep. check the I settings. Uh, I actually should change this around a bit. Uh, leave full screen. Then correct the... <clears throat> correct the resolution to that. So I don't have to be looking at a teeny ass uh, screen the whole time. And yeah, luckily... I managed to get things to work that it'll stay this size no matter what gets changed around here. So a lot less fiddling around on OBS's side at least. Um, yeah, chapter two, the Siege of Spinner K. Let's see who the hell... <laughs> what? Why do we get the feeling that it's Kate, you know, Kate Capsize or something? I, I can't really think of too many people that, you know, female people that, uh, Guybrush managed to piss off over the time, or at least named ones. Oh, uh, hello. It has been said, what fates impose that men... Oh, give me a second. I should have turned on subtitles. Yep, there. In frequency up. Must need abide. It boots not to resist both wind and tide. Yet, Guybrush Treefwood has somehow managed to turn the tides of fate by removing the voodoo curses from his nemesis, Lechuk. Infected himself, Guybrush escaped the scientific experiments of the Marquis de Sange and managed to divert the ill winds of change, an action which could alter his own fate as well as the fate of the entire Caribbean. That is, if he lives long enough. <laughs> Okay, I wouldn't mind having a, 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 a Monkey Island themed set of uh, tarot cards. Guybrush Threepwood, I've been waiting a long time for this. Now, wait a minute. I'm sure there's been some mistake. I don't even know you. Well, allow me to introduce myself. I am Morgan Lafley, mighty pirate ah. hunter. My name is feared across the seven seas. I've taken down some of the most hardened grog guzzling scumbags from here to Zanzibar. It's an honor to finally face off against the legendary Guybrush Threepwood. Lafley? But you're a woman. I thought... Wait, you've heard of me? Have I heard of you? Guybrush Threepwood, the pirate who destroyed the ghost pirate LeChuck single-handedly? Who discovered the mythical treasure of Big Whoop? Who escaped the inescapable Carnival of the Damned? I've been following you my whole life! Wow. Wait. Don't be too flattered. I'm here for the job. The Marquis de Singe wants that hand of yours, so I'm bringing you in. And don't even try your insult sword fighting technique on me. That's something only farm boys use these days. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Oh! oh! Uh, I was using that. Oh, this is gonna be good. Pick up your sword and face me like a man. Like you're a man or like I'm a man? On guard. Um, um, <laughs> Seagull was with the hand there. Uh, okay, I did not expect the pirate hunter to be a fangirl. I can't reach it from here. What uh, the heck? How did you get on my ship anyway? I simply grappled aboard while you were busy staring out at the sunset. You aren't very observant, you know. By the way, my grapple hook got stuck, so you owe me a new one. Oh. Uh, I'm guessing the first thing we'll probably need to do is to mess with the steering wheel. Hey, where's Winslow? You better not have heard him, you salty sea witch. He's fine. I just got him tied up in the main quarter. Keep your head in the fight. Don't worry about me, Captain. I'm sure I can wriggle my way out of these ropes eventually. <laughs> Okay, so every time we chat, we change the scene. Hey, shoot, get away. Hey, get off my hand, oh, stupid bird. Oh. I think the mean lady trying to cut off my limbs takes precedence over navigating my ship right now. Besides, there's no one at the wheel. 
Aren't you getting tired yet? Not a chance. I train myself by studying your moves. I can match you blow for blow. Heck, I can even hold my breath for five minutes, just like you. Ha! I can hold my breath for ten minutes. You mean that's true? I thought the stories were exaggerated. Impressive. <laughs> I think I'm going to like her. <laughs> I will prepare the wedding book. <laughs> Okay, that needs to be cut. Hmm. Uh, how are we going to cut it? Well, you cut the fish and everybody bed aside. He's clearly one loony doctor. He's got lampreys in his lighthouse. I'm a mercenary. It's what I do. Once hired, I won't quit till the job is done. Even if it means taking down a pirate as renowned as yourself. Renowned? I didn't even realize I was now. <laughs> uh, the guy was just so freaking happy to just be oh, recognized for a bit. Pointed at her. Besides, aiming at things actually on my ship is probably not a good idea. Okay, can we even <laughs> use something? But uh, how you cut the fish? Well, you, you cut the fish from uh, the throat then to the back. Then you remove slowly organs. Then you debone it. Why are you shaking your head? You asked. Winslow, you also got to cut the fish, so I answered. Hmm. Like so why did you why did Winslow put it up there? It, it would steer the ship in t to the right the entire time. Hmm. Okay, we need the fish to be there to get rid of the seagull, but how do we cut the rope? My ship while it was moving? What are you? Some sort of pirate ninja? I hooked onto your railing and climbed aboard. Surely a mighty pirate such as yourself must have expected as much. Now quit with the yapping and fight me! Okay. The voice actress. The, the, the weather vane that stuck, he stuck it on the front. The weather vane looks good up there. Doesn't do anything useful, but it looks cool. Climbed onto my ship with this? Where's the rope part? Well, obviously I kept the rope. You wouldn't believe the number of situations a length of rope comes in handy for. For example, using it to tie up your first mate. Yeah, well, I'm keeping the hook. Go ahead. I'll just take it back after I kill you. I think he will not be able to do that. Can't we just agree to disagree? Not gonna happen. Either, I gotta say, the Giver still is uh, doing pretty well for someone who, well, was started out as an absolutely terrible sword spider. Back off, woman. Never. Okay, so wait, can we? Use the hook ourselves, or do we chuck it at that? Nah, I better not. If I get my hook stuck on it, Morgan will shish kebab me. Can we use it on you or yourself or something? Morgan's grappling hook sure comes in handy. Uh, do yeah, we mix no, it with some? Uh, how do we use it? How about if I give you jewel? Will you go away? A bribe? I know you better than that, Guybrush. No, you don't. I'm a new man. Go on, take it. Shut up and fight me. Mm. She looks so happy with this asset. It looks so weird. Uh, can we hand her the... <laughs> I was going to see if she reacts to each of these. I've got a golden parrot in my coat. I'll give it to you if you go away. It's me, Garbrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Aw, that is so <laughs> cute. I'm going to keep him as a souvenir when I kill you. <laughs> it moved on its freaking own. Uh... Look, it's great for grabbing things. Not so good in a sword fight. Hmm. I'm sure it can be good in a sword fight. 
when it's attached to your wrist. Yeah. Um, and we get some sword capture. I'm a too busy for that right now. We really need to cut that somehow. I don't see how else we're going to move things along. Um, hmm. This thing is great for operating ancient machinery, but too flimsy for sword fighting. I'm too busy for that right now. Hmm. That's the mast of my ship, the screaming narwhal. Yes, I know what a mast is. Winslow, are you okay? Quite well, sir. I'm sure I'll be out of these ropes and out to help you in no time. Well, so why does it look like they used the door of an outhouse? <laughs> yeah. And so I feel like jab that from this. I can't reach it. Do I saw I did find my as a as a Van Winslow with you as a guy brush? The cannon isn't pointed at her. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. <laughs> okay, so she does know how to insult sword fights. Uh. A little too busy for that. Hey, get off my hands, stupid bird. Hey, did you should use the your bird against a bird? You don't fire with fire? Busy. A little too busy. Hmm. Looks like those bits of rope are securing that barrel in place. Okay, we can only see it from here and the other place. Nah, I better not. If I get my hook stuck on it, Morgan will shish kebab me. Hmm. We, we need a mo- Oh, there's a cable. Can't reach it from here. Oh, I think I know what we need to do. I think. Look behind you! A three-headed sea chip! No thanks. I've already had lunch. No. Oh, that's taking it too far. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, do we just... There we go. Oh. And like you said, they work as a, a sword catcher. <laughs> Try and catch me now. Bet you didn't see it. that move coming. <clears throat> Yikes. <laughs> Was that supposed to hurt me somehow? Maybe. Did it work? No. Dang. <laughs> Can't we talk this out instead? Nope. Okay, I really do looks... like this for a start, for an opening to this. Yeah, I, I, I like her character. She... Hmm? Yeah. I'm so surprised how happy she seems in fighting him. See if you can parry this. You parried? Shoot, I thought that'd work. Okay, now we need to move this. Yeah, now we meet. Now we need to use the wheel, so the fish goes to the other side. To disagree. Not gonna happen. And then we need to get back here to chase the bird, to chase the seagull away. And fun little fact that red, that red spot on the beak actually shows that it's a female, I believe. Seagull? Yeah. I did not know that. No, oh, no, oh, that's almost falling. That barrel breaks, Winslow is gonna be mad. Back off! Nap! Just skipping through a bit. Uh, but yeah, the reason I you know, know that is because I don't know. I have no clue of why, you know, how it started genetically, but uh, seagull chicks will peck at that spot if they're hungry. To, well, to show that they're hungry, and there have actually been tests with it. But, oh, if that if it goes down now, she might get launched. Uh, but yeah, there were tests done with uh, pixie and uh, seagull chicks with uh, fake beaks, with uh, yeah, with, if I recall correctly, some one of the fake beaks that they tested with well, didn't have the spots. Uh, a fake beak that did have the spots, and a fake beak that was completely red, 
And yeah, the more red the beak was, the more the chicks tended to peck at it. Ah, oh, that is interesting. She does have the honor to not hit attack while he's looking away. Sorry, Morgan. I hate to do this to a fan, but you did cut off my hand. What? Uh oh. Ah! You are good, Guybrush Threefoot. Well, I hate to battle and run, but I've got to see a doctor about this hand. Here I come, Captain Threefoot. Where is the lass? A runner through and use her for fish bait. Uh, she's gone. And she took my hand. Quick, let's get after her. Let her go, Mr. Winslow. I've got to find Elaine. Last time I saw her, she was falling into LeChuck's evil clutches. Looked like a cheerful, friendly moment to evil me. Evil clutches. <laughs> We're oh, not no. going far with the mast in that shape. The cowardly cutthroat must have released a counterweight I set up to keep the mast balanced. No, it's yeah. cracked. It is? It is indeed. It may be just a hairline fracture, but I can tell. We'll have to take it easy until we can get her fixed. Very so well, Mr. Winslow. We'll head for the Jerkbait Islands. Right. We can have our mast repaired there. Uh, sure. Also, that's the direction Elaine was headed. I'll steer while you navigate. I mounted the map outside your quarters for your convenience. Okay. I have to be honest here. I think I noticed something that might be why people may dislike this one as well. And that be? I, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong what I'm about to say. That Elaine marries the new. The Merfolk Weather. Uh, what was um, his name? What was his name? Uh, Let's shock. How the heck did I forget that? That she marries Let's shock, and he marries the fan girl. Yes, Captain. Like I could see the fans having negative reaction to that. Yeah, but I I don't think that's you know, that's what happens. Yeah, that that what I. I don't have a feeling that might be happening. It might be that uh, it's going to be, yeah, hinting towards like something like that happening or something. But we'll just have to see. Where are we headed? Yeah. Nowhere yet, sir. As soon as you point out a location on the map, we can set sail. I only know How's people did like the last one and this yes. one. Nice to see you're finally taking an interest in your nautical mistress, Captain. My what now? You must treat your ship as if it were your lover. Attend to her every need, cater to her every whim. And should something be amiss, like, say, a large crack in her mast, you must see to it that she immediately get the attention she needs. You're talking about the screaming narwhal. Yes, and your lady is injured. We need to get her repaired as soon as possible. We'll be sailing at half speed until then. That makes sense, that. That's the good work. Aye, aye, sir. For, okay, I have worked with wood as a kid and all that uh, for many years. And making wooden swords and all that, I learned quickly that even the thinnest crack in wood can spell disaster. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> suddenly you have a piece of plank fly against your nearest friend. Prepare to set sail, Mr. Winslow. Oh dear. Well, we could actually go back to that. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. Uh, Liam? Do you have hmm? something to say here about inserting yourself here? No. It's even a blanket lie. Okay, we have quite a bit of places we could technically... Uh, we could even go back to Flotsam. Uh, can we go back? Wait, wait, oh, hold on, hold on. Gelato has been pretty unlucky for me. First the whole LeChuck and ship exploding thing, then Morgan cut off my hand when I went back. Mr. Winslow, let's avoid the Rock of Gelato from now on. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Uh, that, that sounds like a Monty Python reference. But yeah, uh, what kind of mustache does that merman have? 
I can't. De I, it looks almost like he has a nose ring or something. Or but the, I, I had to pull mean... off my glasses because they were screwing around with my with the avatar again. Like yeah, I, there. I don't know. It has a Charlie Chaplin mustache or some weird uh, way they drew uh, the character. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm guess. Okay, we. We can't go everywhere, but I'm guessing he has something to say about some of these places. Let's head back to Flotsam Island. I'll get as close as I can, but with the winds blowing out now, we won't be able to reach land. Okay. Uh... Onward to Brillig Island. Aye, aye, sir. Can we actually go to these places? Yes, we can. Wow. I didn't think tiny islands like this actually existed. Good thing I'm not stuck here. I haven't finished my top five things to have while stranded on the deserted island list. Really? Even as small as these but islands are, I wouldn't want to just dig randomly in the hopes of finding buried treasure. I'd be island hopping for years. I think it'd be a buzzy to build a treasure on such a small island. I trip on this coconut and get hurt. I should probably get rid of it. <laughs> well, on second thought, maybe I'll just leave it there. Yes, sir, that's not a rubber tree. <laughs> Ooh, bendy. I never get sick of rubber trees. Yeah, a <laughs> rubber tree. <laughs> that's how they that's look. Tree. Uh, I don't think so, but it's just make nice it more rock. clearly look. To me, it could more clearly stand out. Uh, is he going to fall for the same thing twice? One of nature's bludgeons. One of nature's bludgeons. Okay, he isn't going to fall for that again. Okay, I'm guessing we'll have to pop up here. I can't just dig randomly. Uh, I guess we'll just have to pop up here at some point. Well, I'm done here. Back to the narwhal. Can I have a, a random coconut to, uh, fact come up in my head? Welcome back, sir. Thank Hello. you, Mr. Winslow. Where to, Captain? I think I heard the amount of people that die from random falling coconut is way more than shark attacks. Okay. To, I mean, I think it was about around 1,000 a year. That sounds a bit Set much. Sail for the jerkbait islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Do take it to note, it probably usually tourists they kill. Probably. Who ignores the guys who tell it up to, to not be under those things. The main epicenter of the Jerkbait Islands. Really? Where is everybody? Mm. It's been many years since I've been here. But if the city is still inhabited by merfolk, I'd say underwater. Oh, uh, wait, is merfolk? that... Merfolk? <laughs> Maybe I'll meet a pretty mermaid. Uh, well, uh, you're right. Maybe later. First, I've got to make sure Elaine is safe from the evil of LeChuck. Don't forget, before we can set out to sea again, we'll need our mast repaired. Right, right, we need a plastic pair, got it. <laughs> Mermaids. <laughs> okay, that'd make for a pretty nice design on the, <laughs> on the pirate hat. <laughs> Smiling Very skull nice. instead of a grinning one. So I think I saw a lane in the distance. Wait, what? No fishing. What is that in the distance? Yeah, I, I, and yeah, you're right. I think it's pretty much people just standing where they should not be standing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is a lane over there. Did they also? Did they lazily I use some of that? Oh, take it easy. A big strong pirate like yourself afraid of a little old Bacalian like me? <sighs> Sorry about that. But Bacalian? So, are you a mer... That's right. I am 100% proud Bacalian merfolk. Tail kind of gave it away, huh? So what brings you to Spinner K? Ever hear of a man named Dakaba? I'm supposed to show him this locket. You mean Crazy Sponge Guy? Yeah, I remember him. 
Last time I saw him, he was putting together a crew to go after some mystical sea urchin or something. Haven't seen him in a while, though. He used to have a little shelter out on Row Island. Okay, it's Row Island. I'm looking for my wife, Elaine. She's the most beautiful pirate you've ever seen, with silky red hair and eyes as green as summer grog. Oh, that's so sweet. You know, I think I did see her. She and that other guy arrived about an hour before you did. You saw Elaine with some other guy? Who was he? Some big jerk? I could probably take him. You know, if I had to. But Elaine is usually okay, right? Yeah, I think so. She went right over to the royal chamber, and the guy set off into the jungles with an armful of monkeys. Royal right. chamber. Got it. I'll deal with the monkey smuggler later. Do you know where I can get my mask repaired? I sure do. There is a shop right inside our town. Just follow the cave path, and it'll take you right there. Okay. Cool raft. Can I ride it? Do you have a pass? Uh, I do not. Well, I can't let you get by on your good looks alone. You're gonna have to get yourself a transit pass. Okay. Where can I get a transit pass? You may be able to get one from our chieftain, Beluga, and the royal chain. But it looks like there's some kind of dispute going on right now. Beluga? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, Hilian? Mast? I gotta run. Uh, no offense. None taken. All right, fine. You don't want to repair your mask. I get it. You don't give a. Sh oh wait, you, you only yeah, asked about the mask, didn't you? Who will tear your whole town to pieces? Looking. You and your men shall not have the ancient summoning artifacts. Then maybe we'll move on to your idiots and tear those to pieces. Looking, you overgrown tadpole. Please calm down. I'm sure we can find a solution that works for everyone. Elaine. Guybrush! Oh, Guybrush, thank goodness you're all right. I've been worried sick about you. First the explosion, then that big cloud of voodoo pox you released from the chuck started infecting pirates all over the Caribbean. That was an accident. The sword was crooked. The spell was misspelled. The breath mints had artificial ingredients. It wasn't my fault. I bet there was a conspiracy. <laughs> Guybrush! Oh, sword! Your hand! What hand? What exactly? What happened to your hand? And where is your wedding ring? Uh oh Um, well, it happened like this. Arr, I should gut you where you stand. Uh, I better get back there before they kill each other. Here, take my ring. Oh, no, that's the one I... Just take it. Trust me. And don't lose it, guy brush three quid. Oh, come on. Who's absent-minded enough to lose two wedding rings? Arr, it's me, <laughs> guy brush three quid. Mighty pirate. Shut up, you. <laughs> oh, I'm going to love that pirate. <laughs> the parrot. Oh, dear. <laughs> hey, this fishy looking guy still has one glass eye. Shoot. Why do I have this uncontrollable urge to poke at fish eyes? What? <laughs> they were talking about the. They were talking about the giant sponge there for a bit, um, hello. Chloe. Protected historical landmark. No part of this standing structure shall be defaced or removed at any time, as decreed by Chieftain Beluga. Um, hello, who are you? Hello, sailor. Hello, squishy fish person. <laughs> hello, pudgy human. My name is Tetra. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood and... Pudgy? Have you come to our library to read up on the rich cultural history of the Vakalian race? No, actually, but I do have a few other questions. And I'm not Pudgy. <laughs> okay, are, are all of these uh, sea folk going to be women, or are we just finding only women at the moment? Oh, wait. Van, uh, Van Winslow had a curious expression. Hmm? This makes me wonder, what if they are both? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Tell me about Vakalian history. Well, 
Did you know that centuries ago, we merfolk bypassed evolution and used Vakalian science to obtain legs on which to walk on land? Nope. I can safely say I did not know that. We used that same technology to reattach our tails when we returned to Mother Ocean. It's fascinating. Oh, yeah, fascinating. All this knowledge and more can be found right here in your local library. Hmm. Wait, that... Ever hear of a guy I named think that's Dicali? a dude. I have a locket for him. Oh, yes. That guy used to be here at the library all the time, checking out books about sea sponges, aquatic mammals, and mythological treasures. A bit of a nut, if you ask me. Sea sponges, huh? When was the last time you saw him? Oh, it's been ages since he's been around. Good luck finding him. Thanks. This one does sound more female, and it could just be that they look the same or something. I think this is a case of they using someone that kind of... Uh, there are sometimes they hire voice actors that can sound very gender neutral, like... Uh, you try to listen and you, it gets so unsure if it's a male or female or male voice, you actually get confused. Hmm. And I'm getting that confusion this here. This is our library and cultural archives. It houses centuries worth of information about the evolution of the Vakalian people. It's also a protected national landmark, so it'll be here forever. But it's underwater. <laughs> well, of course. We sunk it. Why? The library was built during the age of terra firma, but when we as a race returned to the sea, we felt our knowledge should do the same. Doesn't that make your books all soggy? Hmm, sure does. Uh, okay. So you um, might have just you might have destroyed all of your knowledge in there. You know, I would like a book from the library. I knew you would. What can I get for you? How about something historical, ripe with political intrigue? Sure. Oh, I know a great one you might like. I'll be right back. Here you go. A city of two tales, an in-depth analysis of the rationale concerning the decision to leave the ocean and the inevitable return. I, uh, think I've read this one before. Thanks anyway. That's enough book learning for now. I've got piratey things to do. Go get them, swashbuckler. You hear, see, if you listen to everything, you see what I mean, that it, it, it's kind of getting tricked into it. Be sure what gender you're listening to. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, <laughs> the ring, the ring that uh, we had to go through quite a bit of difficulty to get, huh? Yeah, at least it's not the cursed one. That's the wedding ring I gave Elaine. The um, uncursed one. See? Yeah. Okay, let's take a look this way before we head up to the, the royal chamber or the royal watchtower. Bait and repair. Now accepting coupons only. Coupons only. Hi there. I understand you do ship repair here. You! I thought I told you to stay away from this place! Especially after that stunt you played at the Royal Aquarium. But I... Mm. <laughs> I'm just messy with you, handsome. This me, Anamone. Oh. Uh, you got me. How'd you get up here? I swam. So, what did you say you needed? I need my mast repair. Sure thing. You want a patch job or a full mast repair? Uh, it's just a crack. I guess a patch job will do. See, that's how they get you. A patch job is basically the same amount of work as a full replacement, but it's certain to go bad on you a lot faster. I give you a full mass replacement. I'll be right back. Hmm. Why do I have that song stuck in my head? There we go, all fixed. Your man, Mr. Winslow, took care of the bill. Nice guy, that Reggie. Does he have a cousin? That was quick. Damn so quick. You sell bait and repair ships here. That's an odd pairing. Well, times are tough. Sometimes you gotta pick up an extra job or two just to earn enough sand dollars to live on. That's tough. You think that's bad? <laughs> this place used to be a bait shop and pizza joint, and I still couldn't sell any anchovies. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if you're so fast. 
telling you, mouse replacement is easy. There are a whole slew of trees out there on Spoon Isle Beach just perfect for mouse. Not to mention the fact that they are just sitting by the water's edge where I can easily grab one. I just float one over to your ship, a flip, a flop, and it's done. Okay. Right, I was gonna say, in Sweden, you, I don't think you wouldn't easily find anchovies on any pizza. <laughs> For obvious I, reasons. I don't think I've ever had anchovies on anything. <laughs> I actually kind of wonder if that's only a American and Italian thing. Could Do be. I think I heard there was someone trying... Uh, Zuster means pizza. <laughs> he might as well toss it straight into the trash then. Yeah, mm. I, I, I still hope someone was pulling my legs with that one. These trees on Spoon Island. Can anyone just take one? Technically, sure, but they're pretty heavy. I'd suggest leaving it to the experts. Okay, her sounds easier to identify as a woman. Where can I get a transit pass? You may be able to get one from our chief. Oh uh, yeah, we already had that. Um... Can I have some bait? Sure. How would you like to pay for it? I'll trade you a pirate parrot. Sorry, we don't take those. No. <laughs> We also don't accept personal checks, traveler's checks, credit, barter, foreign currency, or local currency. You don't even take local currency? What do you accept? Coupons. <laughs> okay. About those coupons? Ah, uh, do you have one? <laughs> Someone as attractive as you doesn't really need coupons, right? <sighs> what are you doing? Are you flirting? Um, I don't know. Look, it's really easy. Just bring me a coupon, and I'll give you some bait. Got it? Yep. And it looks like that's all we can do out here. What? What was that reaction? Yeah, that was a bit of a strong reaction. Let's forget about the artifacts for a moment. The artifacts are sacred. I don't know if she's reacted to it being so surprisingly bad. This is pointless. How about a compromise? La Spunja Grande. So, what's everybody talking about? Arr, me and my men seem to have come down with a touch of the sickly pox. Ugh. And these half-breed halibuts know how to get a hold of a cure, but they won't give it up. We'll never give you the summoning items, Captain McGillicutty. Not after the years of polluting our sacred waters. So we accidentally spilt a few barrels of spoiled grog over the years. Accidentally, my dorsal fin. Ah, oh, shut your blowhole! Gentlemen, please. I'm sure Wait. you and Chieftain Beluga can come to some kind of agreement. Gentlemen? What's this about a cure? The Vakalians hold an ancient prophecy that tells of a mythical sea sponge with the power to soak up voodoo energy. La like Sponja Grande. Yes, but to find the Sponja Grande, you must first summon the legendary sea creatures who can guide you to its location. Aye, and that's why we need the rest of those summoning items. My men have already recovered one of them. May as well just hand over the rest. Well, you mentioned hey. summoning artifacts. That sounds cool. Our prophecies speak of three golden artifacts that have been hidden throughout these islands. They are in the form of the ancient gods of the ocean, the wise turtle, noble seahorse, and the cranky fish. The cranky fish? Oh, the prophecies are very old. Some of the translations may be a bit off. <laughs> when these artifacts are combined, and the ceremony of ritual words recited, the legendary sea creatures will rise from the ocean and lead you to the source of the cure. Okay. I do have to say, I like the, the Merfolk's design. Yeah. They're kind of unique. What are these legendary sea creatures? Though I have never seen them, the prophecies say they are a physical representation of the ocean gods on Earth, and that they will lead the way to the mouth and the sponge. Mouth? 
Enough of this! The only mouth you need to be concerned with is the one I'm gonna shove a hook through if I don't get no summoning artifacts! I'm sure we can come up with a slightly less grisly approach if we try. Hmm. Do you know the ceremonial ritual words by heart? I do. And as chieftain of the Vakalians, I am the only one that does. Maybe you could tell Captain McGillicutty some of the ritual words if he agrees to take only half the sponge. You'll be telling them all to me, or you'll be our chieftain catch of the day come supper! Ew! I thought you guys worshipped wind gods. Yes. Some of our people tried evolving and living on land ages ago, but they always come back to the sea. Hmm. Have any of you ever heard of Coronado de Cava? I was told to look for him here and show him a locket. I do remember this man. He too was obsessed with finding La Esponja Grande. But I have not seen him around in Spinner Cave for some time. Perhaps he gave up. Or died in the pursuit. If you gave him the summoning items, I swear I'll gut every one of you. No one is gutting anyone. We can work this out peacefully. And getting the feeling that that is going to be one of the summoning items. <laughs> probably. Uh, I think they should probably warn Elaine of what the sickness does to the people. Yeah, I... Yeah, she probably just... Uh, hmm. yeah, she, she seems to have figured out at least that it's a voodoo disease, but not yet that it's uh, the parks of Lachak. So, yeah. I noticed a cool wrap down by the docks. How would I go about getting a ride on that? Ah, you wish to enjoy our state-of-the-art human transportation system. Here you go, honey. I already purchased a few all-day transit passes. Doing my part to support the economy, you know? All right. Thanks, Lady Poop. <laughs> Not in front of company, dear. <laughs> oh, sorry. Lady Poop. Hey, honey. Can I talk to you for a sec? Of course, dear. What is it? You wouldn't believe what I've had to go through to find you. A crazy homicidal French doctor? An island with winds that kept everybody from leaving. I even faced off against the infamous pirate hunter, Morgan Le Flay, and she, uh, he's just as vicious as people say. Oh, I wish I could have been there for that. So, have you been trying to find me, too? Of course, dear. That's why we came here. Well, that and the monkeys. Oh, uh, yeah, right, they had to get rid of their freaking monkeys. So. <laughs> Were you really worried about me? I mean, you did stop to chat with these fish people. Brush, we came here looking for you. If we had tried to leave, the ugly, diseased pirate over there was going to have us killed. I had to stay. You said you came here partly for the monkeys. What monkeys? You know what? All those poor monkeys the Chuck had cast a spell over on my ship. Well, we were able to gather them all up, and we're going to make sure they all get back to their proper habitat. Several of them are native to the jerkbait islands. Sounds like you spend more time rescuing monkeys than you did looking for me. I can do anything yeah, those I'm monkeys a... can do. I've seen you scratch your behind in the morning. You're very talented. <laughs> okay, no need to get a uh, jealous guy, Brush. I guess oh, that's all I have dear. to say. But do, do you see oh, what I mean really here? Between you and the fish people. Hope you guys get things worked out. Nice chatting with you. Come on, Elaine, let's go. Hi, Brush. We can't leave. I've got a new ship and everything. These pirates are acting under the influence of the pox. And since we are the ones responsible for releasing said pox, this conflict is really all our fault. We're going to stick around and clean up this mess. But I can handle things here, but you've got to get your hands... Uh, sorry. I mean, you've got to get a hold of those summoning artifacts. They are the key to everything. But the Gillicutty's men have got one of them stashed somewhere. Before you turned up, I was about to go to Row Island to follow up on a lead, and I've got the Chuck looking for the third one on Spoon Island. Speaking of uh, Le Chuck, Le Chuck, you let him go? You sent him on a mission? Yes. Don't worry, dear. He's harmless. I'm sorry. I thought I just heard you describe Le Chuck. 
fearsome voodoo, ghostly, demonic, pure evil incarnate pirate Lechuk as harmless. I wonder when I started hallucinating. Guybrush, he's different, and I don't have time to argue. He's going to need your help. Please, my swashbuckling sea stud. <laughs> no need for the no need for the poppy eyes. The sea stud. Sea stud. Yet. I'll be your best friend. Uh, wait, what? Uh -huh. Pretty please. <laughs> she is doing the puppy eyes thing. Hold on, hit up. You don't know what you just, just did. Hmm? She almost friend zoned you. <laughs> no. Please? Negative. Come on. Not gonna happen. I'm your wife. Uh, fine. So you'll be my personal pirate paladin and get those summoning items while I store these guys? Okay. Thank you, sweetie. Okay, how about this? We each get one summoning item and go our separate ways. Arr, what's the point of that? I'll never let them have our sacred items. Well then, what do you two suggest? Give me the summoning artifacts. Pirate Paladin. <laughs> Let's forget about the artifacts for a moment. Okay. Uh, oh, this it. is going to get interesting, and I think. Looking for a ride? <laughs> okay, that could be taken suggestively. But, uh. Yeah, we'll have to continue this next week, though, because we've hit the two-hour mark. And for some reason, it seems my fitness tracker hasn't gone off like it should on 10 p.m. So, hmm. Have you tried to slap it or kick it? <laughs> uh, I'd rather not with it still on my wrist, but yeah, I'll see about that. Luckily, I still have the... <clears throat> is, uh, another timer going on around the same... Uh, for the just for the security, Wait. but uh, hmm? you can't keep your own wrist. <laughs> oh, I'd <you> rather not. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, we finished the first chapter, and the second chapter is off to a good start. So let's put up a save. Let's see. Guyver's a guy that's been okay, looking for his wife Elaine and a sponge grande. Powerful voodoo cleansing relic. We forgot to check the, the text that it gave at the start, but it was mostly about the voodoo lady, I think. So let's put a save here. We found it. Oh, it, I, oh, it, ex, it gets extended. With each, he found a lane made, um, mediating a dispute between the leader of the merfolk and a pox pirate named McGillicuddy. Uh, Elaine urged Guybrush to resolve the dispute by retrieving the three mystical summoning, uh, summoning artifacts. That would allow him to find a sponge. Okay. Uh, I'm definitely enjoying it so far, and I hope that uh, nothing happens that would explain why some people do really seem to dislike this game. But only uh, time will tell. Yeah, but it seems, so far it seems fine, but I do already see things that is concerning me, and I hope I'm wrong about... Uh, what the heck? What yeah. happened? What, 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 what did we move? What? Yeah, I was What's checking going that. On? <laughs> uh, I'll be as I'm moving something. To this. On the statistics, there is something that's. Uh, okay, it says uh, how uh, how long you've been uh, broadcasting during this session, which is a bit odd because that shows less time than we've been actually going. I believe it should be on two weird. hours and three minutes. Hmm. I'll need to. It could just be that it's off, but yeah. Either way, uh, I have the, I have the games for tomorrow showcase Sunday ready, and I have tested them. Uh, one of them, at least, I know will probably pick up at at some point for streaming. The others, uh, some of them, likely not. Let's see. 209 for you over here it says one hour and 57 so yeah i'm guessing obs is just off with that thank you on that yeah, noon uh but yeah showcase sunday we'll be trying out four games 
We have to see if they're good for streaming. I always keep a fifth as a backup, just in case. Um, but other than that, uh, Tuesday, I'll have to double check if I can stream or not. Uh, I have, I, I'll still have to look if I might need to move stream the streams around a bit uh, due to my work schedule being early for the coming two weeks. Uh, but yeah, if I stream or not, basically if I don't put out the uh, the ad bits or it doesn't pop up on the Discord server that I am online, then yeah, it's probably it's otherwise not going to happen. But we'll see then. For now, though. Uh, thank you anyone who's been watching now or later. Thank you Liltry Live for showing up, chatting a bit. Uh, you too, noon. And let's see, were there other people around during this? Because now I have this chatty program on that I can use to double check. Okay, doesn't seem like anyone else was chatting. Uh, anyone who hasn't been chatting or doesn't have a, an account for it, to, for it to show up. Thank you all the same anyways. And thank you as always, Rick here. You're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, like I said, tomorrow we'll have Showcase Sunday and more Technomates, hopefully in the next week. But we'll yeah. just have to see. For now, though, uh, yeah, until then, have a nice day. And until then. Hey, say, folks, and watch out for the incoming seagulls. <laughs>